Yo, what's going on, YouTube family, and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing great. And today, bring you guys a player review of 92 over Robert Siva Flashback Edition. Jericho Kotri. You guys wanted me to do this player review a long time ago. Here it is. Check out the back of this one. It's got six foot one, 91 speed, 95 catch, 64 elusive, 94 spectacular catch, 97 release, 90 route running, 94 catching in traffic, and 95 jumping. Flashback. Jericho Kotri. Let's check out the attributes. Some attributes stand out to me. This guy has 97 release, 94 catch in traffic, 94 spectacular catch. Low with 95 jumping. Really good card. Of course, I'm a Jets fan, so having Jericho Kotri, when he was on the Jets, he was absolutely a star. I'm mad that we had to let him go. So let's get some comparisons of the guys. Let's go with Golden Tate. I might actually have to do a player with Golden Tate. This card looks sick. He absolutely destroys Jericho Kotri and mostly every attribute possible. And let's go against Amari Cooper, one of my favorite wide receivers. I still have him to this day. Love this card. And uh, Amari Cooper is uh, kind of destroying him as well. Uh, so far, he's 0 for 2 with comparisons against other cards in his uh, caliber of 90 to 94. But going against Sammy Watkins' team of the week, again, he's destroying him. But as you guys can see consistently, the bottom four, release, route running, catching the traffic, and jumping, he's been beating most of the cards he's been going up against in the comparisons. Going against Antonio Holmes, one of the player reviews that I did previously, and I absolutely love this card. He isn't as fast, but like I said, the bottom four attributes. If you keep looking at it, he consistently wins. Going against the Hebron Diggs, did a player review him as well. I love that card. And as you guys can see, he does have beat, had him beaten route running. But like I said, the bottom four, he's always consistently winning. Reason being, because he's one of the more stronger wide receivers you can get with 77 strength. I absolutely love him in the run blocking with only 61 run, block, run blocking attribute wise. But in game, he's absolutely a beast. He absolutely just holds his block really well. That's why I love using him because it opens the run game so much that uh, whenever I pass it, it's a shock because I consistently run the ball on his side of the field. But when I throw it, he just makes amazing catches after amazing catches. When 95 catching, that's pretty good for a wide receiver with this cheap of a price too. I consistently, consistently moss corners in this game with this guy. I thought it was just a fluke, but I did it over and over and over again, as you guys can see in the highlights. I consistently moss people with this guy. He's only six foot one, so being six foot one, he just has an absolutely snag for catching the ball. I guess it's his strength with 77 strength. He's absolutely strong, as you guys can see, with that somebody on his back. He still manages to keep the ball in his hand and uh, snag. As you can see, again, his catching is absolutely insane. I really enjoyed that aspect of this card. It's pretty much what, I, what you use a wide receiver for. It's just that you use him catching-wise. He didn't drop many balls. I was com completely shocked. I see why you guys wanted me to do the player review because his catching is insane, especially for this time frame of a Madden Ultimate Team. Most corners are absolutely hard to stop. And uh, he just makes grabs on grabs on every single cornerback you could consistently think of. Nitrate Lane, anybody you could think of he was making catches on. So I definitely could recommend that to anybody who's looking for a wide receiver with great catching capability in traffic with people on his back. I know a lot of people want that wide receiver that could uh, moss everybody. And I think Jericho Cotri might be the one. I know he's cheap. Going for twenty nine thousand on the PlayStation Four and twenty five on the Xbox One, definitely a cheap card. Try him out. I'm not going for much, so definitely try him out. Let me know what you guys think about him when you do try him out in the comment section below. If you like them or if you didn't, but I can honestly recommend him. Cheap card, great hands. So if I have to give it a review, I honestly have to give it an eight out of ten. One of my more favorite wide receivers. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the short guys this year. They're just better than more of the tall uh, wide receivers in uh, Madden Ultimate Team. So let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this card if you do use them. And let me know down there. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, go to thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.